Realizing a dream often entails leaving our comfort zones, and in the case of Zahira Variawa, it meant traveling many thousands of kilometers from her family home. This dynamic brand management entrepreneur is now based in the United Arab Emirates, and she's invited us to experience what it's like to live the dream in Dubai. Situated on the southeast coast of the Persian Gulf, Dubai is one of the seven territories that make up the United Arab Emirates, or UAE. For most visitors, however, Dubai refers to the capital city of the Emirate. Marhaba, hello and welcome to Dubai. I'm Zahira Variawa, originally from Durban, South Africa, but now a resident of one of the most spectacular cities in the world. Over the past five years, I've gone from being an overawed new arrival to someone who's comfortable to call this my new home. Join me as I take you through a day in my Dubai. The city has experienced exponential growth over the last two decades and today boasts a population of a little under two and a quarter million. Although when you're an early morning riser like Zahira, you're most likely to encounter only fellow fitness fanatics pounding the pavement. Expatriates make up about 85% of the population so you shouldn't be surprised to hear Hindi, Malayalam or Bengali being spoken in the gym as well as English, French or Italian. Health and fitness is a huge part of my lifestyle in Dubai. I enjoy starting my days in the gyms which energizes me and lengthens the day. On top of it all, I found myself another crazy South African. We have loads of fun and get fit. Morning. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Every morning I see this woman for an hour and she kills me, but it's worth it. We call this Ninja Bridal Camp and I love training. So here we are like a stunt woman. Everything is powerful, everything is explosive. Let's do it. Go. One step at a time, you've got this. I've got you, you want to put that nose against the wall. There we go, and relax. One more step, and you've got this. Beautiful, well oh. done. Good job. That is so much harder than it looks. Square. Sip. Nice. And explode. Sip. There we go. Ninja. Excellent. Very good. Sip. She's a super athlete. She's one of my favorite clients. I tell you, Zahira, when she trains, she trains. When we train, we mean business. There's definitely always some laughter going and some action. A lot of grunting, a lot of noises, but she never stops. That's what I like about her. Nice. And back. Voice <sighs> sister. That is why you're one of my favorite clients. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Well done. Let's do this. Go. That's done, energized, and ready for a day in the office. Under the leadership of the ruler, His Royal Highness Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Dubai has made a strategic move from being a resource-based economy to one focused on trade and services. This has created a golden opportunity for young entrepreneurs like Zahira. Dubai and Abu Dhabi are leading global exhibition hubs and it's perfect background for my passion of brand management. I started my own PR and brand management agency a few years ago and we look after some of the leading brands in the region. The competition is intense and it keeps us on our toes. But with the Expo 2020 coming up really soon, we're anticipating a massive boom in the city. Zahira works in close consultation with her team. With the strategy and execution of each project mapped out, she can then attend to other matters in her diary, confident in the knowledge that everyone knows what needs to be done, without minute-by-minute -minute supervision. Dubai's network of highways makes getting from one part of the city to another relatively rapid and easy, except at rush hours. On any given day, I'm always juggling so many different projects. Today, I'm at the Nadal Sheba cycle track for a shoot with Women's Health magazine. Zahira is a regular contributor to the local edition of this international publication, and she was meeting up with her editor for a photo shoot to illustrate the column. I asked her to write a column for the magazine, which she does every month, called Girl About Town. She's the perfect person for it because she is the epitome of our reader. She's beautiful, smart, successful, fit, and lives a healthy life in every sense of the word. Zahira's fitness training made the shoot an effortless affair. Having freshened up and changed, she headed back to her favorite mall to accessorize some new additions to her wardrobe. If you haven't visited Dubai yet, then you've probably heard about its shopping. 
It's no surprise that it's earned itself a reputation as being the most popular shopping destination in the world. In every neighborhood, there's at least one mall with two mega malls in the city. With the brand density in this market being so explosive, you're absolutely spoiled for choice, and I'm certainly not complaining about that. If a new line is launched in Milan, Paris or New York today, it'll be on the shelves in Dubai tomorrow. And often the shopping capital of the Middle East will enjoy priority. Of course, no matter how on trend the style may be, or how wide the selection, if the shoe just doesn't whisper the right words in your ear, the box won't find its way into the shopping bag. Well, today hasn't been successful in finding my perfect pair of shoes, but I know there's loads more malls to go hunting in. Dubai's desert climate means that sunny days are the norm, although winter is the rainy season, with showers from December to March. Even then, daytime temperatures peak in the high 20s, making it comfortable to be outdoors, especially for an al fresco lunch alongside one of the city's giant water features. The girls and I have stopped for lunch at one of our favorite spots in the city, Souk Marina Jumeirah. We love the waterside restaurants and while we're here, we often do a spot of shopping for some pashminas, jewelry or whatever trinkets we can find. Dubai's trade links with India stretch back many centuries, but the nature and the volume of goods have changed dramatically. Where spices may have formed the bulk of the cargo some centuries ago, today gold, diamonds, jewellery and fabrics make the biggest percentage of exports from India. Knitwear and woven fabrics alone account for almost 3 billion US dollars in sales. And while the volume of high-end goods is smaller, luxury items sell at a premium. I wanted to make sure that you didn't miss out on one of the most spectacular sights in the city, the Dubai Fountain. It's the world's largest musical fountain and one of the top attractions in downtown Dubai. Let's get a good spot to check it out. At any one moment, the fountain can spout about 83,000 litres of water in a meticulously choreographed display. Apart from the usual water jets, there are shooters and super shooters that can blast a jet over 150 meters high. And the repertoire features over 20 pieces of music, including the national anthem of the UAE. No matter how many times you watch these fountains, they're as fascinating as the first time. Every different show is to a different song from a different part of the world, and it's beautifully executed every time. Tourism forms a significant part of the government's overall economic strategy and the city makes a particular effort to present a dazzling and inviting image to the outside world, even after sunset. Creating a funfair ambiance all year round, some of the tallest buildings on the planet are transformed into the world's largest art installations with brush strokes of light splashed across glass and steel. Hi, Rory. How are you? Very good, how are you? Good, thank you. Well, I've taken you around my favorite city that I call home, and now I get to introduce you to my most favorite person. This is Andrew, my fiance. Cheers, man. Cheers, baby. Andrew had arranged a private balcony table. Oh, wow, that's really special. That's beautiful. It's quite a view. Thanks, babe. Pulled out all the stops, babe. I've really said yes. <laughs> I did. Always going to try my best. I am starving. I think the chef's got something special planned on the menu, too. No matter how many places we dine at in the city, the skyline just never gets old. First course. The couple had the kind of vista you'd get from a plane, but this was anything but airline food. Thank you. Oh, that looks great. Babe, this is absolutely perfect. Perfect views, perfect food, and perfect you. The city has given me many incredible things, including my future husband. While I'll always be proudly South African at heart, I feel very fortunate to be living in such a desert paradise. 
It's given me friends that have become family, incredible opportunities and been my gateway to the world.